So hi, hello everyone. And today I will show you how to get an image, uh, a feature collection and uh, how to filter an image and how to filter, filter an image collection using a uh, time and how to sort a least to a most cloudy image. And finally, to show you how to uh, get a least cloudy image and uh, how to add a layer in Google Earth Engine. So let's get started. So before that, let me show you the different data data sets that is available in Google Earth Engine. So now let me show you that. So this is an official page of uh, Google Earth Engine. You can access using the whole link. So you can uh, type by Google Earth Engine. You'll get this uh, website. So to access the data uh, data sets in Google Earth Engine, go to this option called data sets. So here. We are on the data set uh, page. So we can uh, see that there's a variety of data sets being available in Google Earth Engine. So we have climate and weather data. So we have surface temperature, climate, atmospheric, weather, so imagery, so different uh, data sets like Landsat, Sentinels, and uh, MODIS, and high resolution imageries. So we have we have a uh, geophysical uh, data sets like terrain the digital elevation model and the land use land cover so on the crop land and other geophysical data so other geophysical data includes the data from other satellite image sensors available in google earth engine including nighttime imagery from defense meteorological satellite program operational light scan system which, is, uh, which has collected an imagery of night uh, time lights approximately one kilometer resolution continuously since 1992. So now let us view the all data sets. So in uh, all data sets, we have a variety of data that is from an, uh, from Canada annual uh, crop inventories and Netherlands uh, 0 0.5 meter dam and an aster image and uh, so we have variety of data that is available. So now let me uh, go to the section of Landsat. So this is a Landsat collection. Uh, me see the different uh, data sets available in Landsat. So we have Landsat 9, Landsat 8, so Landsat 7, and 5, 4, and Landsat 1 to 5. And uh, Landsat image is also, uh, Landsat 9 image is also available. So starting from 2021. So now let me uh, search by the Landsat 8. So you can able to see that a variety of Landsat 8 uh, type of data that is available. So we have Landsat 8 level 2 collection to tier 1 and Landsat 8 collection 1 tier 2 raw scenes so, and uh, EVI composite types and uh, Landsat 8 tier 1 uh, BAI composites. So there is a variety of data that is available in, uh, in Landsat uh, 8 in Google Earth Engine. So now uh, let me select the USGS Lancer date collection one tier two TOA reflectance. So here we have a USGS Lancer date collection uh, collection one tier two TOA reflectance. So it gives information about the data set availability. So that is available uh, 2013, 3 and 8. 18th. So data provider is USGS and Google. So to access your, uh, suppose if you want to access this uh, image collection, uh, this particular Landsat 8 image collection, uh, collection 1 tier 2, TOA reflectance, you have to use this uh, script. So double A dot image collection, Landsat, uh, Landsat 8, CO1, T2, TOA. So this is a script you are supposed to use in the code editor to access this uh, USGS Landsat 8 collection 1 tier 2 TOA reflectance. So 
so it gives about the general description so landsat air collection tier 1 calibrated on top of an atmosphere reflectance calibration coefficient extracted from the image to metadata so let me show you the bands so these are the different bands that is uh, available in this uh, landsat air collection so we have a uh, 11 bands so generally this is how we can access the image collection library in uh, google earth engine so in image property we have a different uh, the metadata information about that uh, sar lancer 8 image so we have a uh, cloud cover collection number data type sun uh, earth sun distance elevation source so these are the variety of metadata that is available in uh, google earth engine so suppose if we want to access this uh, particular satellite image you suppose to use this code of double e image dot, dot image collection landsat landsat referring to landsat 8 collection 1 tier 2 uh, top of the uh, atmosphere so here toa reflect so now let me get back to the code editor of Google Earth Engine. So, so once you have that information regarding about the, the sa sa required uh, satellite image, so here we have referred a similar code that is uh, shown you earlier, the double e dot image collection, Landsat 8, uh, Landsat 8, collection 1, tier 1, TOA. Let me show you that. So we are using this particular script to access this uh, satellite image that is the Landsat 8 collection tire 1 TOA reflectance. So we are using this code to access the Landsat 8 image. So before we access, access the Landsat 8 image that is the Landsat uh, images you have to define your study area. So to, to do that so we are defining this function. So here we are to define a study area we defined a variable called countries so double e dot feature collection referring to us dos so us dos and lsib that refers to the let me show you that so it refers to the large scale international boundary polling so suppose if you want to access the particular country's boundary or you want to choose the study area of that country's boundary can access this uh, provider the data set provider that is United States of Department of State and Office of Geographers so, so in the script we are defined at the United States of Department of uh, State so la, la, so large scale so la, large scale international boundary polygon so LS IB refer large scale international boundary polygon referring to a data uh, data sets of 2017 so after that so to access that particular uh, set of landsat 8 image for that particular study area we are defining another variable so we have defined other variable called variable called images referring to double e dot image collection landsat uh, landsat landsat 8 series collection one tire one top of an atmosphere this is the this is the data set or satellite imagery we are uh, importing into the google earth engine using this code so next is uh, so how to filter an image collection so next we have defined how to filter an image collection so this particular code that refers to the uh, landsat 8 series for entire globe so suppose you filter you want to filter by a particular country you have to uh, specify you have to filter it by a particular country so we have supposed to use a filter function so let me uh, explain you that so here we are using in a variable called image bounds image bounds equal to image dot filtered bound by zambia so we are filtering uh, the landsat 8, uh, 8 uh, satellite image uh, specifically we are filtering it by Zambia that particular country so after that we are using a print image bounds referring to this 
and uh, and which outputs as a image bounce. So in general, suppose you want to filter uh, filter a particular country, you have to refer it. Uh, you have to filter it by uh, by its spatial extent. So here for spatial extent, we are uh, done using a Zambia country. And similarly, suppose you uh, and also you have to filter it by a temporal. That is specifying it specifying its date. So ranging from a January to December. So now uh, let me uh, run this code. So, so go to this option called uh, run script. Now uh, let me run this. So leave this uh, section. Let me focus on this particular section. So it is loading here. So you can able to see that result has a it is, uh, it is said that the collection query is boarded after accumulating over 5000 elements. So we have not specified a, specified any uh, temporal uh, filtering. So because of that, it has uh, a lot of uh, Landsat 8 images has been accumulated. So more than 5000 uh, different uh, Landsat 8, 8 images. So in order to acquire the particular one, so we have to use this. Uh, Temporal filtering. So let me uh, show you that. So to avoid uh, the over accumulation of this uh, satellite data, that is, we have not specified without any temporal uh, filtering. That is, without any specified range. So it has accumulated more than 5,000 elements of different satellite images of this particular Landsat 8 series. So in order to uh, filter it by temporal. We are using this. Uh, we are using the script call. Let me uh, show you. So here we defined a, a variable called time filter. So equals to image bound dot filter date. So the filter date referring from let me uh, so we have uh, referring to image bound dot filter so image bound dot filter referring to uh, so referring to uh, for date from 2016 January uh, to 2016 December 31 so print time filter so referring to this variable time filter and uh, and uh, with time filter so it displays as a time filter with it refers to that variable called time filter so now let us run by uh, using time filter so go to this option called run script click that so let me check by using a time filter so we have our result so in previously using the image bound, uh, we have over 5,000 elements of, uh, for the Landsat uh, series. So now we're using time filter. Let us check out. So we have around uh, 988 uh, elements. Previously we have. So previously we had around uh, 5,000 elements, and now on base using the time filter, we have around. Uh, 998 elements. So we have different Landsat 8 images. So there is a variety of uh, image. So we have uh, 12 uh, bands. We have 12 bands in Landsat uh, 8. With ID number is specified uh, here. So it has 16 days of revisit time. So next, uh, so other important use of this filtering option is to is to avoid a satellite image with a, a cloud contamination. So so suppose to avoid that, we are using this uh, functions. So to avoid cloud contamination, we are using this variable called. So 
we defined a variable called sort image equal to time filter that is referred at here to this variable using the using the specified temporal range that is from January to December dot sort cloud cover. The cloud cover defines uh, this, so it sorts the satellite image in the ascending order. So because it is in the ascending order, we use another function. So we defined a variable called final image equals to double dot image sort image dot first. So the first here that refers to generally the satellite image is sorts in the ascending order. So that we defined by uh, defined it by first, which refers as a the least contaminated image. So using this uh, uh, first, which uh, filters out the uh, least contaminated satellite image. So here we have defined uh, two sets of variables. Let me explain you that. So here variable uh, we have set a variable called raw image equals to image dot filter date, ranging from January to December. So the first variable defines the the raw image without any uh, uh, filtering without any filtering. So first is refers to the raw image. So that is with a temporal range of from January to December. And second one, we have a variable. We have specified another variable. This is a visualization parameter. Bands referring to band four, three, and band four, three, and two, max dot three. So, so we are adding uh, two layers. So suppose we want to add. Uh, Two of this uh, layer into uh, suppose you want to add a layer into Google Earth Engine. We are specified by map dot add layer the raw image that is refers to this this variable of raw image. The temporal range from January to December visualization parameter referring to this one. So we have defined a visualization parameter band three, band four, three and two. So with the Landsat collection. Similarly, we define uh, adding another layer map dot add layer a final image so that is referring to this one the final image we are used as uh, using filtering techniques to uh, we are use the filter functions to remove the uh, the loud cloud contaminated uh, contaminated image so we are defining uh, that variable so final image so this final image we are defining visualization parameter cloud free so we are generally now we are comparing the raw image and with the filtered uh, filtered one so finally, we have map dot center object that is referred to. We are going to center this uh, center this uh, this particular country that is called as uh, Zambia with a zoom level of nine. And final image, ref, final this refers to final image. This one, the zoom level of nine. So now uh, let me run this code. Go to this option called run. Click this. So it is loading here. So let me zoom out. So this is uh, our study area, Zambia. So you can able to see that this is a we have done using a this is a Landsat collection that is a raw image that is without any uh, cloud filter 
or without any specific uh, temporal and spatial uh, filtering. So this is a completely a raw data Landsat collection. Suppose uh, let me show you that uh, in the cloud free data we have filtered using So this is a so this one of the Landsat collection is that uh, I'm showing here it is a raw image without a cloud filtering or spatial or temporal filter without spatial or a temporal filter. So let me show you that now. Uh, so this is a uh, Zambia. So this is a. Uh, a filtered image so you can see a clear distinction between so this is a filtered image that is done using a temporal filtering spatial filtering and uh, a cloud free filter so on comparing with the raw data so you can see there is a lot of cloud contamination and without any spatial uh, filtering and without any temporal uh, filtering. So with spatial, temporal and uh, cloud filtering, we have a good image without any uh, cloud contamination. So this is a cloud uh, raw image with the cloud contaminated. And this is a, a filtered uh, filtered one without any cloud contamination. So in this video, I have shown you how to uh, get a boundary, a study area boundary using a United States of Department of uh, State with uh, using the large scale international boundary polygon. Uh, referring those data sets and uh, and how to filter filtering an image collection using a spatial filter and uh, using a temporal filter and uh, using one of the important function of this filtering is is to uh, to get a, a satellite image with the uh, least uh, least cloud contamination so we are done using this particular function and finally i've shown you the shown you how to add a layers into Google Earth Engine. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and give us a like.